what's good what's happening and today we've got assassin's creed valhalla yes the upcoming game from ubisoft so if you're thinking about buying the game you've seen some trailers and you like what you're seeing or if you're just a fan of the assassin's creed games well you're in the right place to be we're going to talk about what i've seen experienced and all them things there just things i think you should know so before we get going make sure you subscribe to the channel liking the video sharing it to just people who you think are into just this kind of madness and without further ado let's get into it all right so assassin's creed valhalla what do you want to know what do you need to know what have i just played assassin's creed valhalla developed by ubisoft montreal and you're thinking who are them brothers? Well, those are the guys who brought you such games as the Assassin's Creed series. I'm pretty sure it's from number one all the way almost 10 years ago, you know. Probably even more than that. The first game, Assassin's Creed, they brought you that. You played For Honor, Watch Dogs 1 and 2. They helped in development in that game. Even the Far Cry series. So if you've played a Ubisoft game, you most likely have played one of these games that guys have developed. And if you haven't even heard of a Ubisoft game or played one of them, this could be your first time i'd be surprised if you haven't but hey you know you gotta start somewhere right so yes ubisoft montreal they developed this game so the setting for this game is based on the vikings invading england that's why i said it. these guys are gonna come to england's doorstep unwelcome and be like knock knock they're coming through bruv i don't care if you're opening the door or not does that error of things so just expect that kind of Norse mythology. If you just love the Vikings, what they've just shown on any kind of medium, where it be TV shows, other games, you're gonna get that kind of stuff here. Just in an Assassin's Creed kind of way. Obviously, it's all gonna have the other Assassin's Creed hidden blades, the sneaking about, you know, the, the stealth and stuff, but with a touch of Vikings. So I'm guessing if you played the other assassin's creed game you kind of know what to expect with a flavor of vikings i don't know how else to put it to you you know to be honest you know you're just gonna come invade these men unwelcomed in that but you know there's gonna be a little bit more than that which i can't dive into but that's what you should be expecting if you've seen the case if you've seen some trades you should be oh routed i know how those these viking men move all right cool well, i'm on that too you know i'm definitely on that yeah i'm gonna be you know, decapitating setting some heads for sure. That's yeah, that sounds about right. You know, that sounds about my doorstep. Alright, cool. My doorstep. Oh my gosh. No. That's totally wrong. Vikings conquering England. Boy. So the character you'll be uh, controlling is the Viking Raider. Uh, can be chosen between man or woman as Ava. I'm not sure if that's a unisex name, but that's the name that you've been given as a character. It's going to be custom colorization. Didn't go too deep into that, but it will all be there. You know, there's also the standard look that you've seen on the covers. But, you know, if you want to play as a woman, there you go. You want to play as a man, also there. You know, can't complain. And it's kind of funny that I'm pretty sure which I'm going to dive into later on. The kind of relationships you can have between people like i wasn't expecting this but it's in the game what do you know 2020 mad place is there any skill of mine that i could impress upon you even a fool has something to teach whether they are aware of the lesson or not hey hey but i could show you how to wield my plow sword Sheath your plow sword, bro dear. I'm not interested. Uh, you you thought? No, no, I wasn't serious. Come on now, drink and be merry. <clears throat> Another thing you should know about, which I think I enjoyed, one of the most things about this little playthrough that I had, was the combat. Yes, the combat is pretty nice in this game. Not as slick as other games like Devil May Cry and you don't do like mad hit counters and all that kind of stuff it is more grounded it is more you know how can I explain it the, the closest thing I can explain to this kind of combat is it's like it's a souls like combat you obviously lock into a target or multiple targets you know there's some situations where you'll be just by yourself 
and you've got to take multiple guys or you could be obviously raiding a place and you can have obviously the AI helping you out however you're just gonna have it feels heavy there's stamina involved the damage they can do to you is quite heavily inflicted if you're not careful there is stun moves that you could use your arrow there are multiple weapons you can use which does affect your gameplay does affect your combat style I do like that kind of choice. You could have a two-handed weapon, you could have a one-handed weapon with a shield, you could have an axe. You know, there's loads and loads of choice, which I do like. I do like that kind of choice. You're not just tied down to what the game thinks you should play as. That ties into other things later on in the game, which base is on your skill tree. So if you like the slow kind of I don't know, methodic kind of gameplay, you could tailor to that. If you like very defensive kind of style you can tell it to that there is there's a lot of ways you can play this game a lot of ways how you feel you should be playing this game not tied down to either character a viking or any kind of other what de developer thought you should play as is tied into no your rules your gameplay <laughs> I also like is the skill tree man this thing is huge when I first saw it I was like oh this is a little it be it's kind of small I was like, ah, you know it's the basic skill tree but then the more I looked at it the more I thought about it this is the kind of skill trees I like like again it does feel more RPG ish it tells to how you want to play I'm not sure if you can complete the whole skill tree because man like I said this thing is huge but at the same time it's got multiple branches to feel like and tailor to how you as a player would want to play and I like that there's the global power the more you activate nodes the more your base stats grow and you grow as a player so I'm guessing like your strength on attacks your stealth all those kind of things the more you activate those nodes the more your base stats make you feel more powerful so you go from basically like a level one to like a level 100 and you will feel your player grow and that's just a basic kind of level but you also have node types along this tree skill as well. So you have stat nodes which obviously just improve base fighting stats, defense, stronger attacks. And then you've got main skills which just unlock new passive fighting skills. You might unlock a charge attack and just other things kind of, I don't want to dive too much into it, you know, I just want you guys to find out. But these are the things you can unlock and the skill tree is mahoosive. This thing, you unlock this new tree, you just go up, you go up and be like, all right, cool, I'm now done. And then suddenly, poof, the cloud goes away and then you see this whole new skill tree that wasn't there before. And you're like, oh shoot, this is sick rough. Alongside obviously the main story quest and side quest, you will also find mysteries. So these can be legendary animals to just bosses. And I didn't struggle too much with these you know so-called mysteries but i do like that they're in the game so obviously i came across some legendary animal maybe it was a wolf i don't know what it was but the thing was goddamn ugly it was running around like i just had to take that thing out bro it was just manic i was like i don't know what i come across but this thing has to die in it this thing just has to die and i like that there could be more of these outside in the world Hopefully there, you know, you won't find something too crazy out there. But if they got something tied to Norse mythology, hmm, it's gonna be some very interesting times indeed. And obviously you got the other like 
bosses as well are these witches i came across one witch and it did remind me of another game but again like i said these are all just tied to Nuzma Fodigy. I like just the aesthetics and looks that they bring to the game. And if you do like just this whole Viking kind of feel, something is going to feel at home. It's going to be like, wow, I like this is in the game. This is pretty sick. And I wasn't expecting this from Assassin's Creed game, but I, I, I love that it's here. It's, it's legit sick. This is just about Vikings uh, raiding England, but there are some other parts that you guys are going to have to see when more information comes out. I, I got to play, I was like pretty intrigued what's happening behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, you guys are going to have to find out what is actually going down in Assassin's Creed Town. It's mad still, it's mad. I'm excited, very excited. So guys, those are the things for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Some things you may not know already, some things you would know but you're excited for. Or just in general, you just want more information or just enjoyed this video. And if you had, make sure you're subscribing to the channel, giving me a thumbs up, you know, to say, Sam, do more of these. I love these, like, some deep diving madness. I like these. And, boy, I will. Comments down below. Let me know what you're getting. Assassin's Creed Day 1. You played all of them. This is your first one. I just want to know. Assassin's Creed is looking pretty cool, man. Like I said, Viking kind of style. I didn't think they'll do it. But it's here. And I'll see you guys on the next level. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.